What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is a bit late at night. I think I start a lot of my videos at night now, unless I'm going somewhere in the day. I was about to take off my wheels, and I was like, hold on, this will probably be a good opportunity to make a video, so I'm making a video. And <laughs> what do you guys know? Wheels. Now these are not mine, but they could be mine. I am uh, testing them on my car right now. Might as well take off the lug nuts. So these are Reg Masters. These are 16 by 7, 35. These are actually Spoon SW388. These are 15, 6 and a half, 42. These are OG spoons, so these are actually anodized. They are not painted. And, ah. Oh wait, hold on. Let me uh, let's pull this one up. 15, 6 and a half, 42. So these are real spoons. If uh, for those of you guys that know or don't know, real spoon SW388 from Spoon are actually anodized. They're not painted. Now mine are actually Rega Masters. They're originally white underneath, but I painted them. So they're not really real spoons, even though they're all made by Desmond, Rega Master, all the same stuff. But these are extremely, extremely rare to find. So it's kind of cool having a set in my garage because these are the 15 inch five by 114. Five lug wheels and 15s are really, really hard to find. They're not that easy to find. Even like T37s, C28s, just in general, 15 inch five lug wheels are extremely hard to find. And especially these, um, they might be for sale. If they're for sale, I will post them up on my Instagram, but if they're not, then uh, I'll probably just keep both of these. We'll see. So what I'm gonna do is test fit them. They will not clear my front calipers for sure because these are 6542, so I'm gonna have to run a small spacer. I don't have a five mil spacer anywhere. I have to use, I think this is a 20 mil five leg spacer. This is actually for my T-Sex, but I have a couple laying around, so I'm gonna throw this on the front and see what my car or how my car sits on 15s especially with a fat tire like this these are 205 50s the tires are all bad so i said i take out these uh last two lug nuts put it on the rear and see how uh the car looks on 15s i think it won't tuck as much as on the 16s it'll probably sit right on top of the tire on the 15s i actually did find my tripod i had a couple of you guys that wanted to send me a tripod because I was looking pretty sad without a tripod. <laughs> so I found my old tripod on my mountain. Looks like I got a tripod again. The rears don't have to run a spacer. They will fit. Let's see. Oh wow, actually, this one isn't even, this one isn't even uh, showing wire. All the other three are showing wire. It's pretty bad. I almost uh, cut myself on one of them or poked myself. God, they look so tiny. Since I kind of want to do this pretty fast, I'm gonna use uh, my Jay's Racing lug nuts so I could uh, impact them off. Huge hey, shout out to Dennis for bringing these over. He's actually from uh, Seattle. Oh my God, long lug nuts on this doesn't look right. They look, oh, these are ugly with long lug nuts. Or extended lug nuts. Oh my God, they're so tiny. <laughs> Look how tiny they are. Holy crap. Oh my God, they're so small. They're really small. Look, we got 16s in the front. We got 15s in the back. Oh man, these actually look like slip teams, huh? So let's do the front now and see uh, how much clearance have we got? 15 inch spoons and see if they actually clear. Just for fun. It's gonna be funny if they actually clear. Yeah, this one's showing wire. Let's see. Uh, how's this gonna work? My hands are gonna be on the spokes. Whoa. Damn, yeah, you need at least like an eight mil. It sits right on top. 
Believe it or not, these spoons are so light. The 15 inch regas, like these don't even weigh a thing. They're so light. Yeah, these things don't weigh anything. I think the wheels are like seven or eight pounds. Oh yeah, this is a 20 mil, so there's actually a lot of clearance. like girth to it it's pretty thick look at this oh man but yeah keep in mind this does have a oh shoot that 20 mil ain't gonna work actually i think it'll be fine pretty sick the rears are kind of too sunk though uh but, I mean, these are pretty high offset. Dude, shoot, it looks like drag slicks, huh? It does. <laughs> Great stars. Look at that. It looks like you're railroad guy. Oh my god, look at that. It looks, well, staggering, huh? Because the space is... That's cool. Uh... You know what I'm gonna do for comparison? Since these spoons are really, really light, I'm gonna take out the weight scale. And he shots the severe sky for these coffees. These are from Japan. Can't get them here. I had people that asked me about this a while ago, like on teas, to weigh them. So what I'm gonna do is weigh the 16 inch ones with a 215.45, uh, 16. So those are 16 by seven, so they're half an inch wider. This is 16, but let's just see how heavy they're. Pull, pull, go into the scale. There's the 16s. Can you see it? 35.2 pounds. All right. Now, I honestly feel like these are probably gonna be like 22 pounds. Well, it has a fat tire too. Let's go. Why is my scale not working? 27.6. Was that five pounds? Yeah, five pounds. Okay. Well, holy crap. Like, these things don't weigh a thing. Like, I'm not that strong. Dude, I could hold it with one hand. These six and a half don't weigh anything. So. Oh, these are heavy. You guys can see the difference between the 16s. 16s have a flat lip like they, bleh. the 16s have a flat lip like this. I know the 15s, they also have a flat lip. The final versions, right? Yeah. The final versions have it, but you don't, uh... Wait, final versions doesn't have any extra holes. Oh, so the final versions don't have extra holes on the 15s. Yeah. Okay. So the, all the lips are like this. Yeah. Okay, and then... 16s. They only came like this. Yep. So the fire version just doesn't have extra holes. Yeah, it don't look like uh, slips. What are the slips? Yeah, these look like slips. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Why they don't have, that's why it's pretty rare to find those. Yeah, my brother's more, he's more smart with the Regus because he's on his fourth set now. I think I saw the last video. Um, oh my God. Look at that, holy shit. That is with the 20 mil, okay guys? Uh, I think it'd be fine. I don't think it's gonna buckle. I have stiff springs in the front. Wow. We'll see what I do with these. I think I'm just gonna post them up and get rid of them. 15s are cool, but I think I like the 16 inch more. Cause, I don't know. My car still fits at the same height, just the 15s are a little bit more. Damn, that should look crazy though. These NTO ones have a pretty fat um, tire profile. 
And I think these are pretty damn expensive, but these are our shot. Hmm. Anyways, huge shout out to those guys that picked up a slap. So, appreciate it, boys. By the time this video comes out, I'll probably have other stuff on the site by now. Not too positive, but check out below. I have the link up here. One of these two. Me and my brother are looking at these, and we're like just comparing between the 15s and the 16s because we never really owned 15s. These ones on the regulars, they have these, you know, these slits in it. On the 15 inch ones, they go all the way around. And also, the lips are different, of course. Um, and then, what else? The faces are slightly different, huh? Oh yeah, they're like more flat. They're more like bowed up. Like more flat. Cool wheels. Uh, oh, and these are anodized. That's, that is a difference. And, oh yeah, the hubs are different on these. It's like a line all the way around. So it's the next following day. I had today off and I decided to make an in-car video. I have not made one in a while and I know a lot of you guys asked and I just never go around to doing it. Today I was off, I decided to make an in-car video. So, yep, that mounts to the window. And I am currently editing that. I decided to run some errands today, go get some food, get some boba, typical boba cruiser. You know, just go out and get some bola. And I started to realize that my car is actually leaking oil and it's leaking from the transmission. And I knew it was, but I didn't know it was actually this bad. Well, it's not bad, but it's to the point where it's dripping. Uh, let me grab a light and show you guys. I wonder if you guys see that. Hold on. Uh, okay, it is. Uh, Hard to see. Well, oh, uh, damn it. Anyways, so this car is leaking transmission oil and it's actually out of the shift rod seal, which is where the shift rod and the bitch pin for the shift linkage goes, the U joint portion. So I need to change out that shift rod seal and then the leak should be gone. I noticed it when I was doing my shift linkage, swapping over to the B16 linkage and it was a little bit wet but now i think it got a little bit worse i need a order transmission fluid first i used to use torque rtf but i'm gonna try their new um well, not their new i'm gonna try their synchro tech mtf it's designed for upgraded synchros which this transmission has and i just play the waiting game for the transmission fluid i actually just ordered the seal for my work so i should have that here tomorrow and then we're gonna pull it out transmission fluid hopefully i get it by the end of this week so I could drive the car on the weekend, but if anything, it is what it is. And these are here, I decided to post them for sale. The 15s are cool, but I've I've always used to uh, use 15s on all my cars. And then when I picked up this show, I decided to give 16s a shot. Actually, you know, on my old, old coupe, I had 16 inch BBS RSs that me and my brother rebuilt, but that car was slammed. So totally different and I just like how much more of the wheel will it fits on like a good example of a good looking car on 15s is like a 2550 there's a lot of good looking cars or EKs that have 15s on it but what I want is to be low and pretty much just tuck the tire and a prime example is actually Juan's car He's tucking 15 inch spoon SW388s and that thing is low, but I can't do that because my whole exhaust doesn't get messed up. And if you're watching this one, yeah. <laughs> I like the 16s because the 16s give it a bigger profile as in you have a whole inch bigger wheel and the car looks low uh, because you can tuck the tire. But in reality, the whole undercarriage sits pretty high on 16s. Uh, speaking of sitting a little bit high, I actually did crack this lip more yesterday, or no, today on the drive. Ugh. 
Damn. That's in the video too, I caught it in the in car. But yeah, so that's the reason why I like 16s and we're going up to 17s now. Well, 17s, 16s, 16s, 16s are gonna be in the rear. It's gonna be these guys. It's like having that leak, but it's the transmission in. I haven't done that seal for probably like a long time. Actually, I don't think I ever replaced it ever since I got the trans, which was like three, three, four years ago. I only replaced the axle seals, but it's whatever. It's a pretty easy job. I'll do a video of it. Peace out, guys. And yeah. Oh yeah, and if you guys want to see what lug nuts look like when you don't have the locks, yeah, destroy some Ray's Dura aluminum lugs. They don't even make these anymore, I think. And that, <laughs> and these are actually to take these off. So that was a pretty fun time, taking off wheel locks. There it goes, 150 bucks.